We have a 72-year-old Caucasian female who presented to the emergency room at Clements University Hospital here at UT Southwestern who presented with symptoms of heart failure and chest tightness that have been going on for several weeks. We um, felt that the patient had signs and symptoms that were consistent with severe aortic stenosis in addition to heart failure. She had a history of a transcatheter aortic valve replacement that had been performed at another institution about three years ago. And so for her to have had this dramatic progression of symptoms and again have these findings consistent with severe aortic stenosis was, was, uh, was a little unusual. So we were asked to see her um, as part of the structural heart team given her history of transcatheter aortic valve replacement and this new diagnosis of aortic stenosis. So as a first step, we decided that we, we should get an echocardiogram on her. This was the echo image, and this was a little interesting in that this is a parasternal long axis on the echo, and you can see here's the aortic valve, and there appears to be a lot of calcium, at least a lot of echogenicity um, in the, uh, around the aortic valve. So based on the echo findings, we decided to investigate this further with a CT scan. And once we got the CT scan, we actually found something that we weren't looking for, and were really surprised and at first didn't actually believe. Now that you've seen the scan, it's up for you to try to figure out what's wrong with this lady and how to manage that.